Air and Style um, started about 20 something years ago in Austria by a guy named Andrew Harmont. And his idea was like, hey, we should have a big snowboard jump and then apres ski party. And everybody just has a good time. And yeah, it's Europe. They drink snops and, <laughs> you know, just have a good time. So all the pros wanted to go to the event because it was so much fun. Now, since all the pros are there, it became a very world class event. And um, they asked me to be a host of it. So I became the host. It's a Sean White's Aaron style. And I'm thinking, wow, this is amazing. I'd love to do something more with that. Um, I ended up buying the event and I put my twist on it, was taking what they already did and just really elaborating on it and making it into a full-on sports and music festival. The top class guys that come and compete and they make their way from stop to stop and then we crown the winner in uh, Los Angeles. A lot of melting is happening, um, but you know, we put new layers of snow on and we get it going and you know, it's actually nice to ride in sunny, soft conditions. You know, it's more inviting. You're not wearing all this gear, you're not like, cumbersome with all these things on and uh, I think a lot of the guys like it and the environment's amazing because you got the snowboarding going on and during your break you get to go watch the music and the, the kind of sun starts setting and uh, it really makes for a spectacular setting. There's a championship ring that we make that's it was like over twenty thousand dollar ring or something, <laughs> you know. And, and uh, you know, each event obviously there's prize money, there's the title, and then at the very end, if you win the entire tour, you get obviously prize money and uh, the championship ring. So yeah, that's that's what it is. We have a 16-story big air jump where the world's best snowboarders come and compete. 16 stories, it's huge. I mean, it's it's this massive thing. And then right across the way, we have our main stage with big music acts. This year is Flume, Major Lazer, Vin Staples. Uh, TV on the radio, Chromio, YG, Atmosphere, all these amazing acts. It works so well because it's representing the culture behind the sport. You know what I mean? It's like, why is this so popular? Why is it so intoxicating, this, this, this sport? is because it's, it represents a lifestyle. 